Now we're here at one of the many awesome galleries that we have right here in Polk County. This is Outer Space Gallery in Winter Haven. We've covered events here before on the show and I'm very excited about this latest exhibit that's running all this month because it's highlighting a very young artist in a very unique way. Here with me today to tell me all about it are the artists themselves. We've got Trent Manning here and his daughter Harlow will be coming up in just a few minutes. How are you doing today, Trent? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming out to do the interview with me. Oh, thank you. Um, so this exhibit's called Inspired uh, and it just opened and it's really, really cool and unique. Why, why don't you give me some background on what the exhibit is and how it came to be? Um, originally, I had scheduled myself for a one-man show here and uh, I decided I wanted to do something a little different because people were used to seeing my work around here. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the favorite things to do with Harlow is we sit at night while we watch movies, sketch together, and one night after she went to bed, I was left with her sketchbook. Mm -hmm. So I started flipping through it, just left alone with it, and I really got to, to look at them, and I, I realized they were really, really good, really unique and interesting. So. Uh, we had talked about doing a show together for years, and I said, well, this is a great opportunity since I cu curate the gallery. Mm -hmm. I can do whatever I want here. Absolutely. So uh, I wasn't really quite sure how I was going to pull it off, but I knew I wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. So I just got in and started working with her, and you know, it came out wonderful. I'm very pleased with it. Yeah, I love the work in here, and it's really similar in the style of drawing to your work. So how does that feel for you to see that kind of influence in her work? Uh, it makes me very happy, actually. This piece is actually the one that inspired the show. And oh, really? Yeah, when, it, when I saw the hand had fallen off, I was like, oh, wow, she's, you know, <laughs> truly, <laughs> it's truly my daughter. Like, I was kind of proud daddy moment there for a minute. And so, uh, you know, in turn, she inspired me, and it, it's been a great opportunity. Uh, I've learned to be a lot more creative in uh, the painting because she has a childlike innocence and creativity. She doesn't have to justify what she wants to do. And I think I overthink a lot of my work. So it actually kind of opened up my mind a little bit and said, you know what, I can do a little more and not have to justify it. And, and I'll be a little more creative with my work. So it was good for both of us. And I love that. Um it kind of goes full circle where you guys kind of inspire each other and yeah, it, it's yeah. clear uh, that she's inspired you which is really neat. Yeah, it's a, a perfect title for the show. I mean, it just kept coming to me, so it, it was it's great. Yeah. Do you have a favorite piece in here? Um, I, I like the zombie family, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it, it was originally done as three different portraits on three different pages. Okay. So we, we put them together to make a family portrait of the baby mama and zombie. <laughs> cool. So Harlow seems to want to pursue this as kind of her future, um, at least on some level. And it's really cool that she has a dad who does it that can inspire her and kind of motivate her and show her that, um, you know, like she, she can do it and give her opportunities like this. How important is it to you um, for kind of youth to see that it's possible? Oh, very much so. Uh, we're encouraging school field trips, and I want to see as many kids come through and see kids' artwork on the wall, and then they they realize that you know they can do it too. Uh, I've actually Harlow told me that she has friends that said you can't be an artist, and she came home and she said they said I can't be an artist, and and that is actually the mentality of a lot of people. They think it isn't a real job or it's not something that they can pursue. So I want to show them that, yeah, you can. Even a seven-year-old's work can be shown in a way that it's very professional and, and inspiring. Now, what is the, um, what's been kind of the highlight of getting to work closely with your daughter on putting together an exhibit like this, bringing her into what you do for a living? More studio time, because she, she loves our studio time together. But being, uh, having so many exhibits that I've booked, I'm, I'm up here a lot by myself. And uh, so it's just one excuse to bring her in after school and work with her for a couple hours. So there's just more time with her. Yeah. And how often would she get to come in with you? Uh, two, three times a week. Wow. So we'd, I'd pick her up from school and bring her over and we'd spend a couple hours. She would tell me the color palette and she would instruct me what she wanted to do with it. So uh, very much she led 
the pieces. She, she told me the color palette. She told me uh, how she wanted it done, what the size was, and uh, she was very much involved. I love that. It's very important to let, let young people like that be creative if they yeah, want to be definitely. creative. Give them that outlet. Ever since she could speak, she said she's wanted to be an artist and that's never changed. Cool. Now, how long is this exhibit going to run? Uh, December 1st, so December six weeks, 1st. yes. Okay. And I hope it to be an annual show, actually, is I would like to see next year her to be a little more hands-on mm -hmm. and then eventually be more her, less me, until it's all her is really what I would love to see. That would be really cool to see that progression over yeah, the years. Yeah, and I think people would like to see it, too. Absolutely. Your followers and people in the area, I think they'd really appreciate that. Yeah, I think so. Well, thank you so much for talking to me about it, and I hope you guys have great luck with this over the next month. And if it comes back next year, I'll definitely be coming to check it out. Thank you very much. Sure. So now I'm here with the artist herself, Harlow Manning. How are you doing, Harlow? Good. Thank you for being here to talk to me about your exhibit. I think it's super cool. All of this artwork was drawn by you in the last six years. Is that what you told me? The art that you draw is pretty, pretty interesting. It's a little creepy. It's a little cute. I get that from my dad. Y exactly. And yeah. And I it, get the cuteness from you. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what inspires you to draw things like this, like the girl with no hand behind us and that sort of thing? Like, when I'm happy, I draw like um, the painting over there. Maybe like when I'm like mixed emotions, I draw like a zombie flower, which I did draw. Okay. Um, when I'm mad, I probably draw like zombie boy with a shrinky. <laughs> <laughs> Try to eat you. <laughs> Try to eat me. <laughs> so what's your favorite piece in here? Because you've got some really, really cool ones. Probably Frankie. Frankie? He worked so hard on that one. Yeah? So. When did you come up with the idea for Frankie? How old were you? Probably like four. Four? Wow. So what was that like to see this um, drawing that you did when you were four years old become a full-blown sculpture with the light that works. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? I just feel pretty excited because I had no idea this was going to happen. Yeah. What was your reaction when your dad came to you and told you, um, I want to make an exhibit out of your, your drawings? I almost cried. Almost cried? It was super exciting, right? To be seven years old and have your own exhibit, that must be pretty amazing. So, what kind of reactions did you get whenever people came to look at your pieces? One girl said that I just walked in and I looked at one piece and I knew it was going to be amazing. Yeah. That just made me feel really happy. So, is art something that you've always kind of wanted to do since you were little? Yeah, when I was like three, um, I always dreamed of having my own space with my dad and working with him. and. And now it's coming true. <laughs> so is this something that you want to keep doing whenever you get yeah, older? Yeah, definitely. Well, I have one more question for you. Uh, what would you say to somebody who maybe saw a picture on Facebook or saw um, something about your exhibit and they thought about coming to see it, but they're not really sure? They don't know if they're going to come see it. Why should they come see it? Well, because it's awesome. <laughs> and I guess I worked really hard and I think they should see it because, well, it's special to me and I hope they like it. Yeah. And it's a beautiful exhibit. I really do love what you did here. And it's very inspiring to see such young talent doing what they love to do. Well, thank you so much for talking to me about the exhibit. I love it and I hope that people come out to see it because it's going to be really, really cool when they do. Once again, the exhibit here at Outer Space is titled Inspired and it's a collaboration between Harlow and her father Trent. It's truly a unique exhibit, and if you want to check it out for yourself, it'll be on display until December. The gallery is open Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can find them here at 230 Avenue C Southwest in Winter Haven, and admission is free. Visit them on Facebook for more information.